So this is our S3 competition and it's Science Survivor Series. And um, the kids are competing in three different areas here. Uh, as a coach, we prepare them by just practicing. So the kids are in groups of teams. We have a group of six. And within that six, each kid will pair up or they'll be in groups of four. And what we like to call is the ABCs. So they go to the academic competition. They'll then attend the build it and then the creativity. Um, within those competitions, they get certain numbers of points. So we did like different challenges and we worked really hard on them. And I'm really glad we won. Well, when we were building it, um, we were testing it like every time to see like what we can do to make it better. And then we had like just a little bit more time and we fixed it and that really helped us. I had to draw like science words and they had to guess what, what it was. And we had to get as much as we can in um, five minutes. Uh, I believe from what we've seen on our campus that the kids get leadership skills. Um, the kids that have stayed in the background, um, they really, they really uh, focus on what they know during this science um, competition and that really gives them the stance that they need to be leaders. I think it is a reinforcement for science, of course the science concepts, but more than that are the soft skills that they get from working as a group, working as a team, um, being able to learn from one another and build upon each other's skills. We um, allowed our kids to, to pick who the drawer would be in the um, Pictionary type activity, so they had to think and, and you know who's who's best. Who do you work best with drawing? So they're learning some definitely some leadership skills, some soft skills uh, as far as working together, and that cooperation, the collaboration.